Greetings, KVC family. Recently, a friend of mine had posted on social media asking the question, what are some of the phrases that we're using now during COVID that it maybe are getting a little bit overused, but we all understand, you know, things like social distancing and two meters away and essential workers, you know, all of those questions, those phrases. And one that came to my mind was, we're all just doing the best we can. You know, I know that I've said that about myself as a teacher through this time. Um, for my students, I feel like I'm not quite doing enough, but we're all doing the best we can, right? Well, recently that phrase came to my mind again. Um, last week, one of my students, he was taking this huge American college credit exam. It's called advanced placement. And due to a technical glitch, he wasn't able to actually make his submission. And so he has to redo the whole exam, really through no fault of his own. I was very frustrated with that, frustrated with the experience for him, the circumstances of our time, and, and really kind of angry at the organization, <laughs> the College Board organization for making this so difficult and challenging. But as I thought about it the next morning, I'm like, well, you know, they're just doing the best they can. But as I continued to think about that phrase, I thought, you know, saying that, it doesn't really change anything, does it? <laughs> you know, it doesn't really ultimately give us peace. Uh, we say that phrase maybe to, yes, we're trying to extend grace to other people or to ourselves. We're trying to perhaps diffuse anger and frustration in the moment, but it doesn't actually change anything. It doesn't bring lasting peace. In fact, every time we say, I'm just doing the best I can, or they're just doing the best they can. All it does is really remind us of the lack, the brokenness, the weakness in our world. Well, that morning after dealing with some of those feelings of frustration, I was reading in Matthew 28, verse 18, where Jesus says, all authority, all power has been given to me. And I was absolutely overwhelmed with the truth that Jesus, <laughs> that Jesus is never just doing the best he can, you know, not in the way we humans think of it. You know, he's never mediocre. He's never just doing enough to get by under the circumstances. He doesn't just do the best he can. He is the best and everything that he does and everything that he gives to us is always the best. Um, a few things I was, I was thinking about is that, you know, not for one single day in history, not for a split second during COVID-19, has Jesus relinquished or lost any control or any authority or any power. Never in the face of poverty, abuse or grief, chaos or confusion. His power, his authority, his sovereignty are always at their peak. Even when I can't see what those outworkings are or what that purpose is. On Thursday last week when, when God spoke this to me, I really heard his whispers to my heart. My heart that was broken. My heart that felt empty. And I heard him say, you know, Janelle, I know you're doing the best you can as a mom, as a wife, as a teacher, as a friend. And guess what? That's not enough, but that's okay. It's okay because Janelle, you don't have to be enough. I'm enough. I'm always sufficient. I'm always everything you need. I'm always doing the best. My power, my authority have no boundaries. Janelle, you don't have to make excuses for me, I heard him say. Cease striving and know that I am God. I know you can't see it all, but I can. Trust me. Experience the freedom 
of releasing your grip on self-sufficiency and instead embrace the sufficiency that I offer. Rest in the joy and the peace of obedient surrender because I love you. One of my favorite songs right now um, in this season is the song, Yet Not I, But Through Christ in Me. Um, if you get a chance, I would encourage you to take a listen to it. Um, but some of the lyrics of that song just speak so clearly to this idea that Jesus isn't just doing the best he can, that he is everything we need. I just want to read a few of these lyrics to you. What gift of grace is Jesus my Redeemer? There is no more for heaven now to give. He is my joy, my righteousness, and freedom, my steadfast love, my deep and boundless peace. To this I hold, my hope is only Jesus, for my life is wholly bound to his. Oh, how strange and divine I can sing all is mine, yet not I, but through Christ in me. The night is dark, but I am not forsaken. For by my side, my Savior, he will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing, for in my need, his power is displayed. To this I hold, my shepherd will defend me. Through the deepest valley he will lead. Oh, the night has been won, and I shall overcome. Yet not I but through Christ in me. Hope you're blessed and encouraged.